hot end has a total of six wires. Two for the heater, two for the fan, and four for the thermistor. We'll start with the thermistor connecting it to the T0 pins right next to the T1. The clearance may be tight, but it is there. The heater cables are not polarity sensitive, so connect them either way to the D10 connectors. Now connect the cooling fans to the D9 connectors. These are polarity sensitive. If the manufacturer has not specified the polarity of each cable, connect them either way and we'll test them later. Connect the two positive and two negative cables coming from the output to the 12 volt power supply into the ramps, taking care of matching them with the plus or minus sign on the ramps. Connecting it reversed will surely blow up your board, so please double check both sides before performing the connections. Depending on your power supply, you may have from two to three to four slots for each polarity outlet. I recommend checking the output voltage to be sure it's 12 volts, because it might be 10, it might be 11, or it might be 13. So check it with a multimeter and adjust the potentiometer in the power supply. And last but not least, let's add the two remaining 12 volt cooling fans to the electronic box lid, like so letting the two pair of red and black cables coming out through the box. Just connect each color to their corresponding voltage in the power supply outlet. Usually red for positive and black for negative. Don't worry though if you connect them in reverse as they will just blow on the opposite direction. We usually want to blow fresh air into the electronics rather than suck out the hot air. The ramps 1.4 and the Arduino Mega will get very hot after a long print. So these tiny coolers will keep it at a comfortable and fresh running temperature. 